friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and today I want to reevaluate the Phoenix Squad. Now, the Phoenix Squad is prom primarily one of the first squads most players get in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. With the Phoenix Squad, you can start unlocking uh, Grandmaster Yoda, you can start unlocking Thrawn, you can start unlocking a lot of different awesome characters. If you are farming the, C the, the Phoenix Squad, I want you to be able to get the Phoenix Squad in 16 and a half days. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, before the, the new adjustments, before the accelerated farm that they just announced recently, uh, it took about 35 days to farm the Phoenix Squad. And that was very frustrating for a lot of people. So if you're new, just know that it's not gonna take you that long, right? Now, before we really jump into this, let's go ahead and look at the Phoenix Squad. Who are they? What are they? They're rebels. They're Jedi. They're pilots. They're whatever the heck Zeb is, right? They're a great team. Before we even begin, I want to revisit my old video. And look how look how adorable I look. Same bald head, same facial hair, diff different hoodie. Um, there's four things that you need to know about this farm. You need to, one, be able to stay focused. 16 and a half days is a lot easier than a 35-day farm but still it is easy to get sidetracked. It is easy to, to move away from what you're farming to get something else. And it's so important to be able to stay focused. Two, you got to log in every day, right? Again, if you're a new player, you're probably, you're familiar with this game or this game style, but to, if, if you're not logging in every day, you're going to miss out on a lot of, of really important things. Three, you need to be in a guild, guys. You need to be able to get those that those that guild currency. You need to be focused. Tell your guildmates, hey, this is what I'm going for. Help me get to where I'm going. Tell someone your goal. If you don't tell someone your goal, you're gonna miss out. And this is obviously the most important thing for this guide to work. You need at least 300 crystals a day. Now, 300 crystals a day is not as hard as you necessarily think. Um, if you go to the Star Wars wiki, look at or the Swaga wiki. This, these are all of the the different places or or things that you can do to get crystals. Um, they are the the most important part of this game, right? And first off, I love this website. As I'm scrolling through it, it's it's super fun and very informative. Kudos to whoever put this together. But 300 crystals, that's all of your your daily events. Um, that's your your shipments, your weekly shipments, your your monthly. It's everything averaged up and then broken out by day. I mean, it's roughly 300. Now, if you're especially getting crystals in squad arena or more importantly, fleet arena, then uh, you're, you're probably going to get those 300 per day anyways. But you're going to need these for the refreshes that we're going to be doing. I do have this broken down into four different rounds. Round one is here, round two is here, round three is here, round four is here. As you can see, uh, Sabine is going to be the hardest character to farm, Kanan the next hardest. These two are equally difficult, but you know, not difficult. And then these two are, are the easiest but also they compete for resources. So let's look at it really quick. Let's look at Kane and let's look at Ezra. Ezra is the easiest farm because he's in a lot of different places. So first and foremost, Ezra's on Cantina 2B. You get 480 energy per day with three refreshes. Now, on this note, it costs eight energy per attempt. 8 energy at 480 is 60 attempts. 60 attempts at a 33 drop rate is 20 per day, give or take. On the accelerated rate, that's 40 per day, right? So that's 20, 20 wins of Ezra per day, which means you're getting, and it's no longer one shard, but two shards a day. So 40 Ezra shards per day is huge. 40 per day divided by 330 is eight and, a, eight and a quarter days. Now, here's the thing, though, guys. Ezra is also available to be purchased on the Fleet Battle Store, right? If you jump over to the Fleet Battle Store, he is one of those characters that just shows up. Now, if you are, 
I mean, if if you're, let's see, let me actually get to the freaking store. Um, if you're able to farm Ezra here as well, that's going to take off two to even three days, depending on how much you can get. Now, again, if you're looking at the prizes to even, if you, if you even attempt a fleet battle every day, you can get 20 additional Ezra shards. So that's 60 Ezra shards a day. And that's a whole lot. Like that's so many shards and it's so much easier than it used to be. Like Ezra won't take you a long time to get and less yeah so uh, anyways once you have farmed Ezra you need to start farming Hera now the thing about Hera is Hera's not Hera's only available on in one place she doesn't have um a fleet arena that she can be pulled purchased from she only has her right and it's it's a freaking challenge, guys. So you have to. I mean, you could buy the packs, but like she's only available on Battle One F. Okay. Now I'm making this video during double drops, and so like it, if you're doing that, if you're lucky enough to be starting the game around double drops, congratulations, you just saved yourself months of work. Um, but Hair is a great character. And again, that same that same math applies. Hera costs 330 total, just like every other character. At three refreshes, at 100 crystals per day, that's 480 uh, in pieces of energy. 480 energy divided by the cost, which is eight, is 60 attempts. 60 attempts equals 20 potential win. 60 attempts at a 33% drop rate is about 20 wins, right? Which is about 40 overall things so just between these two characters you're looking at 17 days to farm ezra and hera right great characters most important to to focus on now i've got these two interchangeable zeb and chopper and that's because they're again purchased from different locations and so they're not competing for the same resource right with zeb you are going to be able to get Zeb only from the Galactic War Store. And if you're able to complete it, that's 1,200 of these Galactic War ingots or shipments or coinages or whatever. That's three. And you can farm him. You can unlock him three attempts. Three attempts a day at 30 shards total cuts it down to about this is a 10 day farm for zeb now that they've doubled the the rate chopper chopper is actually going to be the same farm as zeb he'll take the same amount of time what you're going to do is you're going to farm chopper in the cantina battle store you're going to get him at 10 uh, shards per piece or shards per attempt this refreshes at least three times a day so as long you can actually get chopper more often but if you're getting three shards a day there are 30 shards a day it'll be the same rate at getting that as you're getting zeb it'll be a 10 day farm now here's the thing about it you're going to be getting chopper because as you unlock ezra and Hera. Hera, you're going to be gaining these Cantina Battle Tokens. Cantina, ba Cantina Battle Tokens are spent in the Cantina Battle Store. Go figure, right? And so what you'll do is you'll spend those here. You'll get 10 shards, and then you'll wait for a refresh. Once as you're gaining those again and again, you'll be able to essentially get about 30 a day. Now, if you get a few less, a few more, great, right? But roughly on average, if you can get 30 a day, it's going to be a 10-day farm. In 16 and a half days, what you have done is you have farmed Kanan, Zeb, Chopper, Ezra, and Hera. Now, the hardest part is Sabine. Sabine really takes a long time to farm. When it, you are farming five attempts a day, you can refresh the first time at 25 crystals, the second time at 50 crystals, the third time at 50 crystals, and so on. 
I want to show you real quick. This is again on, on SWGOH, uh, dot help. This is the official wiki. Um, this is how much daily energy you're getting, right? So you can farm Sabine without three times. You can, you can, you can use her, or you can use her node. You can refresh her node three times in a day without having to refresh energy. But if you want to refresh the cost, um, the first time, 50. Second time, 50. Third time, 50, right? So right there, if you want to refresh uh, three more times, right? That's 150 crystals plus energy refreshes or plus node refreshes. That's 25, 50, and 100, right? And so it starts to add up very quickly. Once you have everyone but Sabine, uh, you're good to go, right? It's it's you just need to finish the Sabine farm, and and that should take you about ten more days, right? Roughly. Now it depends on how far you've gotten. It depends on your RNG. Now and all of this also depends on other events during the Rebel Roundup phase. You can unlock uh, these characters. You can unlock them the first time they've. They've gone different events can give you different characters and different character shards right now. Again, as I'm making this, we just finished or we're, we are, yeah, we just finished the rebel roundup and I, I got so many different, uh, Phoenix squad shards because I was, uh, I was able to, to unlock them. Now at earlier stages, you're not going to be able to unlock them as easily, but it's still something that is, you know, something that's doable. Now, again, those first five characters right here, Kanan, Zeb, Chopper, Ezra, Hera, those are going to be your five core for the start of the Phoenix squad. Now, I do like swapping Chopper out for Sabine. Um, I, it, you know, just really depends on my mood. But I do want to say, guys, there's a lot of potential here. And I, I think, we you know, now that they're opening up, uh, these characters and and letting it making it easier for more people to farm and to farm quickly we might see a use for them right but for you if you are a new player they're definitely useful they are a a, a squad that you absolutely want to get into your roster er, into your uh and yeah into your roster so um hopefully this helps hopefully i've been able to guide you through the phoenix farm it shouldn't take you more than 20 days at most, even if the RNG is terrible on like Ezra or Hera or even Sabine. But stay focused, stay stay uh, motivated. It is challenging when you start losing focus. It's challenging when you start losing your motivation. Um, but with all of this, guys, if you are interested, leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you thought. Um, any other tips? To farming these i will pin them to the top so that all all those people who are coming can get uh some additional information some additional help from other players now that being said guys if you are interested in helping the channel if you'd like to uh actually get some free stuff check out the links below the first link is for audible i always recommend audible guys in the link below you will see uh, a one month two free books for audible absolutely worth it i'm listening to a ton of books right now um i've got 95 books and i've purchased most of them over like the last five years it is wonderful i absolutely love it um but additionally there's other books that they do just give away for free so yes you get the two free books but then all of these other books that they're like hey you know try this one out try that one out it's like a way to introduce authors it's really cool and it's really awesome and for like it's like 10 bucks a month normally 15 bucks a month normally but for one month, it's free, guys. Give it a shot. You have nothing to lose. Um, and additionally, in the section below, you will find a link to the Going Nerd Swag Store uh, where you can find all of my cool swag, all of the stuff that allows me to continue to make these things. Really, it's all the shirts I make for myself, and I just put them up in case you guys think they're cool too. But anyways, check out the links below. Like, subscribe, share, and definitely comment and let me know what you think. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy.